Are you finding it hard to link your email to your Jamboter? Or do you link the wrong email to your Jamboter? In today's video, I'll be explaining tips and solutions to linking the wrong email to your Jamboter. Guys, how are you doing? As you all know, my name is Jeremiah Alayo. As you all know, on Top Notch Guide, we give educational tips, admission guides, and scholarship guides, and a lot more to help students. For subscribers out there, thank you. And if you haven't subscribed or you are new to this channel, I want to take this moment of support to subscribe to our channel so you'll be opportuned to get any school content, guides, and updates. Now that candidates seeking admission are linking their email, with their jam portal, we have been seeing errors of different natures. One of these mistakes is linking the wrong email. A candidate called me that there was a mistake in his jam email linked to his jam portal. Instead of ADME code 222 at gmail.com, he mistakenly called ADME code at gmail.com for the attendance and the wrong one was linked to his jam portal. Another one called me that it was just he just called the email for them which was not linked which was linked. But when he tried to create the email, another person already had it. The email wasn't available again. In short, if you are one of those candidates who link the wrong email, the problem is that one, you won't be able to log into your jam portal of course the email did not belong to you and you don't know the person. Two, you won't have access to your password that Jam will send to the email which you'll be using to log into your Jam portal. And three, you won't, able, you won't be able to reset your Jam password because the email will be sent, the email will send new password to your email and you can't access it. So what is the way out of this problem? What could you do if you mistakenly link the wrong email to your Jam portal? In this video, I'll provide two solutions. At least one of them will help you out and give you opportunity to do all you want to do on your Jam portal. One, the first one is try getting a new password through SMS but with the wrong email. And two, you'll be visiting the nearest CBT center for help till admission ends. So number one, getting a new password through sms but with the wrong email this method has helped several students in the past and to date however because jam is having problem with several sms services this year this may not be 100 percent sure but if it works for you i say my congratulations to use the sms method to get the jam password for your portal you will send an sms to 55019 using the full line that you use to get your jam provide code during your jam re registration the service charge is usually a 15 error after which you'll be sent a new password this is the password you'll be using to log into your jam portal but you will keep using that with the email you link to your jam portal advantage there is that you won't it doesn't matter maybe the email was not yours you will just be using writing it on the jam portal to log into your jam portal you don't have any reason to enter into the email just easy to log into your jam portal now to be logging into your jam portal you have to visit the e facility that's the e facility the jam .gov .ng. on that page you put your password a you put your email a password be sent to your sms once you log in you cannot be using the jam profile for any of your admission activities if you want to check or print your jam results or uploading of results or check your cash status or accepting admission you should log in if jam is no longer having problem with sms service however if that did not solve the problem you should give it to the next method the second method on my list is you'll be visiting the nearest cbt center for help till admission end i'm sorry if the first method does not work for you if this is your situation you have to take this as a bitter pill but it's necessary that the last way works out from now on you'll be visiting any available cbt center each time you want to do anything on jam portal cbt centers have direct access to your profile whether you link a correct or wrong email 
they can do anything for you with just your jam registration number or your profile code so visit them with your jam registration number or your profile code together with an appropriate fee maybe like 500 if you want to do anything on jam either you want to check your and print your jam result or upload of uploading of your o level or your a level result or checking your cap status or accepting transfer of admission you either you want to do change of institution and courses or checking markets place for possible or unaccepted admission so you just go to any jam um jam cbt center you can do all that i believe you have come to the conclusion of this video if you have one or two questions to ask me concerning solution to linking your wrong email to jam portal or question or any other question just drop it down in the comment section below i will answer you as soon as possible thank you guys for watching see you next time on admission guide Thank you.